Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today in this video we are going to see the procedure of HCV AB ELISA test. So how we perform HCV AB ELISA test? So let's talk about this. So first of all let's see the purpose of the test. So the main purpose of this test is to check the presence of antibody into the human serum against the HCV antigen. So let's see the requirement that what we required while performing that test. So first of all we required the clean rubber gloves as you can see. Next we required micro titer wells. This is the micro titer wells. See, we, we required micro titer plate, hu, uh, human blood, uh, HCV AB kit, incubator, HCV ELISA reader machine, centrifuge. Now this HCV AB kit contain uh, the first solution which we call it chromogen B, second stop solution. The third contain HCV AB conjugate. We have wash buffer. We required a, a chromogen A solution. And then we need a HCV AB diluent. Moreover, this kit also contain positive control as you can see and negative control. Both these things are used to, to uh, check the test. Okay. Now we required the micro piper. This is a gesture and uh, we require tips. So let's see the procedure that how to perform that test. First of all, we will take the human blood into the gel tube and will centrifuge it into the centrifuge machine almost for one minute. Now after one minute centrifugation, we will get the serum as you can see this yellow portion. Now we will take the wells and we will arrange it into the micro titer plate as you can see. First of all we will take the clean tips using micro pipette and we will arrange it into the 10 microliter. So using clean tip we will take 10 microliter of the human serum. And we will put this into the first well as you can see now second we will take 100 microliter of uh, diluent so this is 100 microliter of uh, HCV AB diluent We will put it into the first well. Similarly, we will put this uh, 100 microliter of the diluent into the second well that acting as a positive control. The first well will acting as a test. And similarly, we will put 100 microliter into the third well that is acting as a negative control. Now, then we will take 10 microliter of the positive control and we'll put it into the second wells. Similarly, we will take 100, uh, 10 microliter of the negative control and we'll put it into the third wells that is acting as a negative control. Now 
Now after this process we will incubate this micro titer plate at room temperature or into the incubator. Now after 1 hour or 30 minute incubation at room temperature we will take out this uh, Eliza Reader plate that contain 3 wells and will wash it with to the wash buffer so we already load the wash buffer into the syringe so first of all what we will do we will you know fill up this uh, three wells as you can see and then it will be discarded so it will be our first wash as you can see we will a little bit mix it and then we will discard it so this is the first wash This is the second wash. And now this is the third wash. So we can, you know, uh, three time or five time we can wash the solution. Now after the washing, what we will load, we will load the conjugate. So we will take 100 microliter of the conjugate and we'll load it into the Three, all these three wells respectively so this is 100 microliter and we already loaded into the first well then into the second and finally we will put it into the third wells now after that we will keep this Eliza Reader plate into the incubator or at a room temperature for incubation After 30 to 60 minute incubation at room temperature or an incubator, we will take out this Eliza Reader plate and we'll wash it again. Means we will again wash it three times or five times. So again we will we will fill this up wells, we will mix it and then we'll discard. Means shake it and then we will discard. This is the first wash. Then again we will fill the wells and we will discard so this will be our second wash so this is our third wash now after this washing step we will add chromogen A solution so we will add almost 50 microliter of the chromogen a solution as you can see so this is the 50 microliter of the pipette we adjust it and then we will take clean tip and then take 50 microliter of the chromogenic a solution and this chromogenic a solution will be loaded in all these three wells respectively Then we will put chromogen B solution which is also called TMB solution. So we will put this chromogen B solution in all these three wells respectively. Now we will keep this micro titer plate into the dark incubation means no light so this is a box as you can see so we will keep it at a room temperature now after 10 minute dark incubation what we will do we will check the color as you can see so so then we will add 50 microliter of the stop solution in all these three wells respectively. So this is the stop solution. We will take 50 microliter. So we will load it into the first well, then into the second well, 
and then into the third valve so they will stop the reaction process after this we will keep this ELISA reader uh, plate into the ELISA reader machine to check the video so first of all we will click the single test then we will click the serum and then we will see the test parameters so as we are doing the ELISA uh, uh, HCV AB ELISA so then we will click it and then we will click into the single test now after few minutes what we will get we will get the video so let's see the video after few seconds uh, the video will be get and it will indicate the positive negative result of our test so we will get the result as you can see onto the screen of this ELISA reading plate so let me zoom it so yeah the first is negative this is the test means the patient is negative the second is the positive control so it is okay and the third is the negative control so it means the test which we perform it is negative test so this is how we can perform HCV AB ELISA test I hope you guys understand if you understand so please like this video share this video and definitely subscribe the channel